Hello and welcome to my seventh video on the interweb. I am the Obscure Operator and this is my channel. Today I will be playing the game Dwarf Fortress on Linux Lite. I have installed it using the Linux Package Manager, though it is also available on their site and will be available sometime this year on Steam. I'll link their site down below and show you how to install it using the Package Manager now. So if we just exit out of the full screen, uh, uh, there we go, okay, and then we want to go to system, package manager, we want to put in the administrator password, which authenticates it, then we can search uh, dwarf, or I think w, uh, dwa is enough, we just click on that, and come up with that, mark for installation, just, I, I think it might be glitching a little bit today, but anyway, if we just apply that, we can see that's going to install that. And if we just apply, right, mark changes are now being applied. This can take some time, and there it is. It's installed. Um, personally, my favorite viewing package manager would have to be Ubuntu. Because there's, it's the package manager, but it's laid out like the Microsoft Store, so it's really easy to navigate, which is nice. But it's still a package manager, not a store. Um, so now if we go into games, it should be there. Ah, there it is. Opening up. Shall we go to full screen? There we go. It, it'll widen out after this. It's quite cool animation, this. Okay. So, here we are. Dwarf Fortress. So, this is a tutorial video. Um, one of many for Dwarf Fortress, and we may have sequel Dwarf Fortress videos, but anyway, let's get started. So, we want to, to navigate around this menu with um, arrow keys, and well, you can do it with numbers, I think, because it's got the. Hey, that's too complicated to bother with, but arrow keys works, and you can press. And once it's highlighted on create new world, you can press enter. And it's going to be like... Oh, this is the first time since I've... Yeah. So, I'm not entirely sure what version this is, but... Anyway, so, world's... I mean, you can leave all these things normal. Uh, the history will change how long it generates the world for, because it generates a new world every time you do it. And so we're just going to leave these all at their default. It feels like it's taking too long. I'm just going to skip through that, so we can press Y to go. You can see we've got our world here, and it's uh, placing stuff, and now they're going to do stuff. It's running through... Years and years, there we go, it's starting to slow a bit. So this is probably one of the longest parts of the whole thing, but you can see, um, this purple is goblin stuff, I'm not sure if that is, but like, this purple and that is, and these omega symbols, the grey ones, are the dark grey ones actually, I'm not sure about the light grey ones. They're uh, dwarf fortresses, and somewhere there's probably ah over here we've got an elf company. I guess they have fortresses too. And so, as time goes on, it'll generate people doing things. There's more people. There's been over a hundred thousand events. There are nearly 8,000 dead people, pretty much 8,000 now. And I don't know what histfigs are. But, 
Uh, we're probably done as far as we go and go. So we're going to stop it here because otherwise it's going to take ages because it's got another uh, another 115 years to go at this pace. So let's go through. Okay, we're pressing enter. Oh, just enter, just pause it. Oh, the printer's doing something. Ah, there we go. So, so we can view the world. So we can abort this, which, um, aborts how it is. So you can see there's a dwarven fortress here, and that's, yeah, and over here we've got columns. Uh, I think it's you is what we want. And, oh, there we go. Okay, just move that there. Okay, so where are we going now? Do we just, like, click somewhere or do we... I'm just going to press enter because it's got accept down there. So we'll just hope that's the right one. And it's offloading units. I'm going to say that it's saving the world to disk, but I'm not entirely certain. We'll just have to wait and see. It, this, oh, no, it's getting there. The save part of Dwarf Fortress is probably... One of the most heavy ones on the CPU. That and just uh, if you run a really big fortress, then it can really take a toll. But for what we're doing, we're on a PC, it should be fine. Because we're just using defaults. But if you're on a laptop or something, don't do an absolutely massive area for your fortress so now we can press enter to start playing and so choose between dwarf fortress adventurer and legends we're going to do dwarf fortress because that i think legends is you can look around and hear all the stories and adventurer is like well it's third person and you put yourself as a character whereas dwarf fortress is what we're doing today we're controlling the fortress. So it loads up the creatures, yada yada yada. Okay, so each time you load up a new fortress in a world, it'll go through a few days of a month just running through that world. As stuff happened. Okay, so now we're in the selection phase. And. I'm going to have to just check how long we've been running for. I forgot to set a timer again. So, jump cut. Uh, we'll go for here. Okay, so we're back. Um, yep. So, now we can look for an area where we want to settle. So, uh, this is the world map. This is the entire world. All that there is. This is the region map, which I think is the region of the world that we're looking in. So it's a bit more in-depth. So you can see up there. See, it's a bit more in-depth than the other one. And this is the local map. So, this black and white bit is the size of our fortress. So... The first thing we want to do is we want to look for some mountains and some greenery. So that's there aren't any trees. You want trees, and you want mountains, and preferably you want shallow soils, and you don't want aquifers. But other than that, it's not going to matter too much where you put your first fortress. Um, let's have a look. Where do we want to go? Maybe over here? 
Ah, uh, where's a good place? It doesn't seem to... Oh. It's got shallow metal. I'm not sure what flux stone is. I don't... I'm not that experienced. It's got very deep soil. It's got a little soil. I'm not sure what's better. But we want... It's, uh, where was it? It's got an aquifer. We don't want that. Uh, little soil. Um... There, it's got woodland. Um, and then we can move the local area. So we can move it up with U and down with M, and to the right with K and to the left with H. So we can get less trees. That's okay. Preferably, we also want a brook. Uh, that's a. It's a good water source. So we look around. This there are no trees here. We look around for some mountains and some trees together. Uh, what would be good for that, do we think? If we go over here where there was forest and mountain and stuff before. Um, so we maybe move along here. Then maybe we can get some more trees. Now, there are no trees over here. Um, oh, and preferably one temper temperature, which just makes it easier. Um, and mountains. Um, I'm just going to try not to spend too much time looking for a good new home. Um, just trying to find someone with trees and mountains that's got what we want that has no trees which is a problem um we could go over where could we go here there's sparse trees which is not preferable and less as we go down uh, up Okay, so maybe we want to go here. No, that that's trees are sparse. No trees there. Um, need trees and mountains on a river. Wait, was that tree? No, that's sparse trees. Oh, woodland. Um, can we go up one? No, there's no trees there. Okay. There's only deep metal, which may, might make it a bit hard, but we've got mountain, we've got trees, and we don't have an aquifer, we've got a river. That'll do. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is when you press E to embark. And you can either prepare for the journey carefully, which is like the Oregon Trail thing. Yada yada yada, you get the, all the different items and you can pick and mix, but you know, I'm lazy, can't be bothered doing that. Also, it takes a while, so we're just going to play now. It's faster, it'll give you a decent mix of items. And there we go, got the music running. So, you have arrived. After a journey from the mountain homes into the forbidding wilderness beyond, your harsh trek has finally ended. Your party of seven is to make an outpost for the glory of all of Zazkog. Um, I'm not going to comment on their naming. There are almost no supplies left, but with stout labor comes sustenance. Whether by bolt, plow, or hook, provide for your dwarves. You are expecting a supply cavern just before winter in terms of you, but it was spring now. Enough time to delve secure lodgings ere the dingoes get hungry. A new chapter of dwarven history begins here at this place. Do some kick him. Work to sp splatter. Strike the earth. And then we press enter. And we're immediately faced with this. And it appears to all be frozen. Which may not be good. But maybe we want to just... You know what? We're going to abandon this fortress. And we're going to try it again. Because I, I forgot to look at the temperature. Because you don't want snow and ice. Snow and ice is bad. So, 
we'll find another place that's not all snow and ice. Yes, very nice. Okay. Oh, now we've got to now, now we've got to wait for that to do the thing again. Okay. Um. Well, that's a four minutes wasted. Uh, yeah. All right. Save the history. Yada yada yada. Okay. Start playing War Fortress. Yada yada yada. And that's gonna go through the extra days, isn't it? Okay. So it goes through fifteen days. Boop. Okay. So now we're out here. There are no trees there. It's heavily forested, decent temperature, shallow soil. This is actually a lot better than than have a stream, which is preferable. This has no trees. Um we'll we'll try not to be too picky, but we may want to wait. This might be good actually. No, 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 it's not good. Wait, this might be good actually. This is a nice oh, that's got an aquifer though. And we don't want an aquifer. Aquifers are bad. But hang on a minute. This might be a good home. Uh, go for that. Okay. Boom. This is good for embarking. Play now. Okay, this should get us a nice... Okay, it's just loading up. Yada, yada, yada. Okay, so, this is looking much more hospitable. Where is that? Stream frozen over? No, it's just that we're paused right now. So, first thing we can do is we can press K. Uh, where is that? K, 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 K. Uh, look. We can look around with K. So we've got a, so here we have our wagon. Yep, we've got some stuff inside the wagon, and got some grass and trees and you know like some ponds and it says open space. It's just because it's like a pit down, but you know that blues water. And here we've got fire clay, which might be useful for something. And this black stuff here, it's unexplored, because this is our mountain. So if we go up with, uh, oh, uh, comma takes you, no, wait, hang on, not comma, shift, comma, the th opening thing takes you up a level, and shift, full stop, takes you down. So you can go up, and we can see that all the different trees and stuff, and you can see how the mountain slowly gets less and less, until all fades away into blue, and you can go down, and... Yeah, so this is the underside of the lakes. There's roots which are quarter signs for some reason. Oh, we've got peach trees. Um, let's not get distracted. And so if we go over here, we've got our brook, which is excellent because it means we can fish. And here we've got what's this? Schist wall. So that's the edge of the. This part of the mountain's made of schist. So, um, actually, this bit here is probably quite a good bit to dig into. So, the first thing, uh, first thing to learn is, oh, let's pause it, hang on. First thing to learn is the designation. Actually, we might want to have a look at our dwarf. So, V, you can look at your dwarves are so we've got some dogs and a cat and here we go woodcutter so this is our woodcutter he's a novice at a lot of things but his job is woodcutting for now he might change if he does more of something else but for now he's a woodcutter this is a jeweler not massively useful at the moment and they've got all sorts of different things they can do you know like a human uh, and somewhere that's a stone worker, presumably he might become our miner. 
Oh, actually, oh, hang on, here's our miner. So he's an adequate miner, which is pretty good skill to start off with. And so the first, so another thing that's quite useful is this unit list, which allows us to see what people are doing. We've got a, our expedition leader, who's presumably got, who's presumably also a fisherman, is going to go fish. So that's cool. So, designation key, you press D. And here we have a view, we can look at different things. So what we want them to do is... Where do we want to mine in? Do we want to go like... We need three wide for wagons, so we're going to have a ho. And preferably you want it not being open to the sky, so... That... Yeah, this will do. Wait, hang on, what's that? Is that iron, or what is that? I'm not sure if you can get iron from that. But... Okay, so... Come down with shift... No, okay. So we can go up, and then we can see what that is. So you can see it's plus. Okay, so actually, I need to explain what I'm doing. So I press D to set the mining as the designation. And I pressed Enter to start the designation. And then I move my arrow keys to move the things out. And we want to go a decent way inwards. Uh, a little bit more. That should do it. Okay, so that's... So now this is our entrance designate. This is... Right out entrance will be. And in here you can put like um put like a some sort of I don't know. Oh you can push shift to move faster. We'll put like a square oh that's a bit off. You know, we'll make it you know, nicely shaped. It's horribly shaped, but you know. Okay. Lovely, and we can press X to remove designations, and I want to remove this top bit. Okay, it's maybe a bit wide. Come to think of it, uh, this might not be. Okay, D. Okay, now it feels off center. Okay, there we go. That's a wonderful shape for a building. We might just move it down slightly though. Okay, so we can move designation. There we go. Now it's a nice little place. So, what we can do... Oh, we'll also want some trees. So we can designate T to chop down trees. We've got some... Where shall we chop down? We've got... Well, let's make it close to the wagon. So we've got some nicely... Nice bunch of trees here. So we, you know, do enter. And it will just designate tree trunks within the square to chop down. So if we press escape... And space resumes it. So now, the mine is going to dig, and the woodcutter is going to chop trees down. Now, soon we'll give people other jobs, but for now, that's all we need done. So see, we've got our miner here, and he's mining out an area. Oh, actually, come to think of it, so we need to set an I as zones, and we need to set some sort of pasture. Uh, if we set it down here, it'll probably work fine. So we just want to just set like an area and go I. And so what we want to do is that's where we want a pin pasture. What we can do is, uh, is it cute? No, if we go to I again, actually, then we can do shift in. Now let us see the different creatures we have. So, 
Stray Yet Cow and Stray Yet Cow. Two Stray Yet Cows. Oh, and you can go plus and minus to scroll in these menus. And so if we press enter to assign them both, then presumably at some point someone will put them there. So that's cool. Um, what do we need to do next? The next thing we probably need to do... Oh, what have we got? So, yep, these two people are going to pin pasture them. We probably want to designate some sort of farm. Um, D? No, hang on. Wait, building, that's what it is. So, farm plot, and you can, um, make it bigger like this, and yeah, by pressing U, and make it wider by pressing K, and we need a decent space for it. Oh, the plant's in the way. Um, that'll do. So now we've got a farm plot, and what we want to grow in there, is we want to wait for people to do that. What? Jeweler. No, jeweler. So we can press Z to go to unit, oh yeah, um, press U to open the unit list, Z to go to unit, and we can go into P, and go L for labor, we go enter into farming related and farming fields and that should mean that he goes and const yep yeah, so he's constructing the building so we can go j to view job and yeah, he's building a farm plot so okay we need to set up a zone for fishing um what are those b Badger boar, those sound dangerous. Let's hope for the best. Uh, so this bend looks like a nice place to put a zone. So what we're going to do is we're just going to zone this as the... This is where you can fish. If for fishing. And then here, zone this. I'm going to put it as garbage dump that means that they'll dump it in the water and then it goes away which is good and sure that's possibly not good for the environment but we don't care we're dwarves that's not our issue the elves can come and complain about that if they want to okay so the farms made and we have no f seeds we just don't have any seeds well, you know, a human might say, oh, well, that's a terrible problem. Guess can't plant anything. Actually, this is not good because we don't actually have the things. But um, if we ever look through the seas, okay, so this is actually terribly placed and not good. So we can actually just remove this. This isn't necessary. Now, what we need instead is we need to, um, this will do. So we mine out a little area say this big oops that oh, accidentally added that oh yeah once you open a menu it, okay so we go into this area yep and so hopefully that's still oh that's a bit big let's just remove a bit of this boom so our minor dude He's mining that out. He can mine, like, clay and stuff pretty fast. So he's mining that out. Uh, and we can have a look. And hang on, five idlers. Oh, yeah, because we've got seven people. Okay. So maybe, you know, our jeweler can be our jack of all trades, I guess. So, what we can do we can go actually hang on we need it I just want to have a look in what is it Z for status and you can see the date up here so it's still mid spring you know it's not even summer yet apparently our post is called castle bone in English so right now we're waiting for our dude to go and mine out our area which will give us 
our space and we're hoping that the badger boars don't harm us. They don't seem to be harming us, which is good. They might just migrate through here each year. Um, but what we can do is our stonework. He, he's not doing anything. And he's a stoneworker, which is like mining, right? So let's give him the ability to mine. So now, now he's going to go and dig. And our jeweler is, perhaps we want to designate some plants gathered, because actually we don't have anywhere to put the plants. So let's not do that just yet. But hang on, what's this stuff that he's mining here? Oh, red sand. That's good. We can use sand to make glass. So we will probably want that at some point in the future. But right now, you can mine out our cavern walls. This is it's a, bit, it's a bit sandy, but, you know, it'll be fine. Because what we need with this is we need... We just need something to put the... And you can see the weather was clear, so apparently it was raining before. But we can put the... We can put a depot in there. Once he's mined out enough of it. So, while we're waiting for that... Um... What should we do while we're waiting for that? While we're waiting for that, this guy has finished there. So, what we're going to do... Is B, B for building, P for plots, and we want to make um, want to make a farm plot about the size of this, and we just want to put it there. And that'll give Veljula something to do. Never mind, he's going to drink. So they dwarves work better with drink so that'll be something else we need to do but for now we'll just leave that because we need a depot first okay so it seems as though our farm plot has been it's partially constructed so we just gotta wait a bit more and it'll be properly constructed so okay it's nearly there Over here, o over here, they're nearly okay. So we can grab our farm plot. And what we want to grow is we want to grow plump helmets and the spring. So A is for spring, B, summer. We probably want to grow pigtails in the summer because we can make rope out of those and that's useful. And then in autumn. Uh, well, let's see, D, winter. Okay, so in winter we're definitely wanting plump helmets. Yeah, we may as well grow plump helmets every, all the time except for summer. You know, plump helmets, great thing to grow. You can use it to make, dwarves can eat it. You can make it into cooked food, which dwarves like better. Uh, you can uh, make it into alcohol. Now, let's see if we have enough for a depot, and if we do, we might leave it off with a depot wall. That's a lot of plants. We might want to gather some of those. Because so what's all this that's growing here? Ben... No. Lettuces. Okay. You know what? I'm going to designate gather plants. This because we want some of these wild plants. Because they can add a bit of variety. You know, dwarves like variety. Like us. They don't like eating the same food all the time. And we'll allow the jeweler to... As well as planting seeds. They can gather plants. You know, they're, they're going to become a farm adventure. So we want to go into buildings. I think it's... Yeah, capital D is a trade depot. And so that placing it there, and then we want to let's make it out of the closest ones a sand pair wood block. So it takes three building items. So we're going to make, take three sand pair wood logs, and that's what it's going to be built out of. So at some point, uh, you can 
our fish cleaner. He doesn't have anywhere to clean the fish. So, no, hang on, we need... What? Architect? Okay, so our fish cleaner will come along, and he'll design the depot. Because you need the depot in order to train. So this fish cleaner guy is going along, and he's bringing the stuff, because he's going to build it. And the depot is the uh, centerpiece of Dwarf and Life. So, the next thing we need to do is let's just mine out a short area and we're going to have. This is just where we're going to stockpile our stone. So, you know, all the stone can go in there. And off the stone stockpile, we can put a room for stockpiling random stuff that the dwarves have. And off that room, we can have a food stockpile. There we go. And if that's, you know, once that's mined out, once the depot is completed, we're going to finish this video. And we'll come back in another video, you know, we'll come back next week to finish off where we're going. So as dwarves continue doing things, they get more talented at them. So if we go G for general, so our miner is a skilled miner now. And our yep, our miner who was a stone worker is an adequate miner. So they're much far so they're faster than they were at mining. Which is a good thing, because it means we can get more stuff mined. Okay, so our fish cleaner He's um He's building that or something. Oh, he's dragging stuff out of the building so that he can build it. And uh, now he's got no job. So now what do we need for the depot? Carpentry. So that's our... Uh, what is it? The... Our woodworker. Yeah. He works with wood. Carpentry. So he's built our depot. So now we've got our depot. And that's brilliant. Um, final thing we're going to do is we're going to go over stockpiles. So, P for stockpile. And we're going to do a wood one, just outside. We can put it inside later. But for now it's outside. And it's just going to go along this area. And it's just where they're going to haul all the wood. So if we watch anyone who doesn't have anything they need to do, which is the fish cleaner at the moment, because I guess that's the only person who's not actually doing anything. So other people are gathering plants. I guess they're putting the plants on the wagon? I'm not entirely certain. And probably at some point, some dwarf is going to knock over the wagon and everything that was inside is going to spill up. But you can see how the dwarves are going and they're getting their wood, which looks like a dash. And they're going and putting it in the stockpile. Pretty simple. So last thing we're going to do. I'm going to go save game. And it does all that rigmarole. It goes to save all the blah blah blah. Saves the announcements. Um, yeah, it would be done in a bit. And this is a slightly longer video, but that's okay. Uh, I suppose while we're waiting to save, oh, there we go. Just want to say, if you have any games, free games that you want me to play, hit me up. Um, preferably that will run on Linux, and if they need Windows, then they need to be under Gigabyte. 
because I don't have a lot of storage on my laptop. <laughs> so, we're going to quit. And um, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. We're going to see the next bit in the Dwarf Fortress series. Like if you like the video, you know. Let's me know you like these videos. And goodbye.